hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm rosie i've got two boys saxon who's three and ezra who is 18 months and ezra is here with me having some lunch but um i often get asked what are the baby names i love because i've got two quite unusual names for my boys and um i thought i'd do a quick video with 10 baby names that I love. Just a quick disclaimer before I start, I am not pregnant and I'm not planning on being pregnant in the next couple of years. <laughs> Ezra's happy about that. Just so you know and you don't think that I'm pregnant and planning my next baby, that is not the case. One of the topics for Channel Mum this month is baby names and I thought it would be really fun to share with you <laughs> Ezra wants to get up. I thought it would be really fun to share with you baby names I love. So, I've got two boys as I said. I'm going to start with the boys' names just because John and I find boys' names so much easier than girls. Um, a lot of these names John doesn't agree with. I'm just going to let you know that now. <laughs> but they're names that I really love and that I think are so cool. So, the first name for a boy that I love is Heath. Um, I think this just sounds really trendy and I can imagine a boy that looks like our boys called Heath um, but I do think the name Heath Steele is a little bit too like just too short a syllable name um, but I don't know it could work it's pretty cute. The next name is a biblical name that I love and that is Amos um, but again it doesn't really work with our surname Amos Steele because the S's are too close together um, but I really like it I like how it looks when it's written down and that I like four letter names um, I think they're just like nice. <laughs> don't know why. The other name that was a strong contender for um, Ezra when he was in my tummy was, what was it? <laughs> Eben. <laughs> was Eben. I really like this name um, and we actually talked about the name Ebenezer but because um, Ebenezer Steel does sound amazing <laughs> but in the end uh, I think we thought that was a bit too crazy and that you just sound like Ebenezer Scrooge. For some reason there's Martin on my list but I did not write that down. Who wrote Martin? Maybe I write, meant to write something else and it auto checked. Martin. <laughs> Can you imagine that baby Martin? Martin is not on there. The next name I love is Huxley. I love the name Huxley. Um, I just think it would really suit with our boys names so Saxon, Ezra and Huxley I love like X's and Z's hang on one sec baby needs me yeah um, I love the name Huxley I can just imagine a little like blonde haired cute boy like I think Ezra would have suited the name Huxley um, yeah so it's really unusual I've never heard it before and next another boy's name I love is Indy and um I just, I really, I think it's so cute, little indie. It's a little bit um, unusual and quirky. Um, and actually, I think indie would be a really good name for a boy or a girl. But that is in the list of my five boy names. Um, and then in terms of girls, um, I have Bonnie. <gasps> I love the name Bonnie. Bonnie is like my ideal girl's name, um, but... John is not having any of it, so which is fine because we haven't had girls. Um, uh, but I just think it's so cute. It just, oh, it just sounds adorable. It's spelled B O W N I E. So um, yeah, like a little Bonnie. I think Bonnie Steele is just adorable. And then another name we love is Olive. Well, I say we, but it's mostly me. I love the name Olive. Um, and I, Ezra, if he was a girl, probably would have been Olive. I might have, I might have just about to persuade John at that point, but I don't know if I will have been, will be able to now. Um, but I just love the name. I think it's really like um, quirky and unusual as a twist on Olivia, which is really common and popular, but it's not weird. Um, and I think I don't know that it goes that well with our surname though, Olive Steele. Not sure. Um, but yeah, I really love that name. The next name I love is Delilah. I think Delilah is beautiful for a little girl. I can just imagine a little curly haired girl called Delilah. Um, and it's in the Bible. I don't think it's got a great meaning in the Bible, but I love that name. It's so pretty. And um, I can think it would fit really well with our family. Uh, another name that I love is um, a quite unusual one, and that is Blythe. 
Um, I know one other person who's called their little girl Blythe. She got it from the poem Sunday's Child is Bonnie and Blythe and I, and she was born on a Sunday, I, because I love the name Bonnie, I also really love the name Blythe. I think it just, I love the way it rolls off the tongue, Blythe. Um, but again, it's that short Blythe steel might be tea, like, boom boom but I don't know if it's too unusual but then we have got a boy called Saxon so <laughs> last but not least is the name Alicia now this isn't that unusual I've actually met a few Alicias recently but I love it because it reminds me of my best friend who her name her middle name is Alicia and um I just think it's so pretty and sweet sounding and um yeah I wouldn't want it to be short to like confuse for Alicia though because that just seems quite different, a <laughs> different vibe. Um, but yeah, Alicia, I love those names. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and that um, it's inspired you to uh, choose an unusual baby name. Any name that you give a child root can really suit them. But I do love that mine have really unusual names. I think it just so becomes them. So that is personally why we chose different names. Thank you so much for watching and being patient with me while my little toddler's oh, trying to climb out the window. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, and thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.